Greetings fellow traveler. Today I want to remind you to do what you love. That could be career wise, but I'm more so reminding you to do what you love as much as you can, not for money. Now if money comes with it, that's fine. But wake up and be inspired to live. I say this many times, that could be simply getting out of the house and walking in nature, finding your peace, looking at this beautiful world that we live in. I mean, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. That could be playing an instrument. That could be drawing. It could be listening to music. It can, it can be going to work on the assembly line if that's your thing. It doesn't matter. But do something that you love. Because without that, there is no fulfillment. There, there really is no fulfillment in life. No matter how much money you have, no matter how many things you have, you're not going to be fulfilled. And it's interesting because even as I share this, I think of moments in my life where I had all the things I had dreamed of for myself. And I wasn't fulfilled. There was, a, there was an emptiness there. But when I begin to let certain things, people, ideas go, <laughs> life became peaceful. Peaceful. And in that peace, I could hear my thoughts. I could tune into my intuition more. I can feel my body better when I was going through a situation where I was anxious. See, I got so used to being anxious, I didn't even realize it. But once I gave myself peace, I became a better version of myself because I learned myself more. And that's what I'm here to remind you to do. I mean, the journey, it has ups and downs. Like that's part of, it's part of this whole process. But it's, it's a cool feeling when you can be satisfied in who you are as a person without needing anybody else to validate it for you. You're not doing what anybody says you're supposed to do. You're simply staying true to who you are. And then that, you do some amazing things. You do some very amazing things. And I mean, I'm, I'm so grateful for where I am in my life right now at this point in my journey that I just wish to share with any anybody who can use this information, to be honest with you. There have been times where I allow myself to be subject to many people who are taking energy, energy vampires, what have you. I was giving my power away. And as I reflect on it, any moment that I stepped into my power, it will be instantly just deflected or knocked, knocked down. They don't want to hear the ideas. They don't want to see the things that make me happy. They don't want to see the things that make me a better version of myself. I used to take it personally. But now I realize that I stepping into my power was not only taking away what they were sucking from me, but it unsettled them. And it unsettled them because they're doing what they feel they're supposed to be doing. And I was simply trusting myself. And in doing so, I found more peace. I found more understanding within myself. And the more I understood myself, I began to understand them more as well. I begin to see the unhappiness, the uh, unsettled nature. It's, it's as if they're grounded. I won't even say grounded. It's as if they're weighted down and they don't even realize it because that's how life is supposed to be to them. They're supposed to be weighed down by all these different obligations and ideas and for what? genuinely like my question is why there's no point you must remind yourself that we are not here my personal opinion we are not here to live a slave existence 
We're here to be free. Be free. Treat each other well. Do not harm each other. Simple thing. It's laws of nature. Just take care of your fellow man like you take care of yourself. It's laws. It's simple laws of nature. And nourishing one's own soul and spirit, it becomes life becomes more fruitful. That doesn't mean a vault full of money. For some, it does. It doesn't mean it won't come for you. It doesn't mean it's not there waiting for you. But it's about understanding that the, the things that grind you most in life are free. And being grounded and being weighed down, two different things. Two completely different things. So today I share this with you, hoping that it resonates. I'm going to go for my walk, enjoy a peaceful moment with nature, and send blessings to you along the way. Until next time, be blessed.